with how the Omaha police chief plans to protect you and your family next year. In a six news exclusive, Bella Caracta sits down with the head of the largest police department in the state. He shares about the real time crime center he plans to implement and his three main goals for the agency next year. We have really hit a good stride in 2023. Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter's first goal for the next year is to reduce violent crimes. Prior to the pandemic, we had three or four years with the city of Omaha set at our 40 year lows for violent crime. That 40 year low was seen in 2018 with 22 homicides. Spiking back up to 37 homicides at the start of the pandemic and now back down to 27 so far in 2023. The rate at which they're solving homicides in the city is incredible. A 100% clearance rate. Compare that to cities across the country where just 50% of homicides are solved, according to the FBI. 25 of this year's 27 have been solved, and then we've solved two from previous years for a total of 100%. You're not going to get any better than that for, for a city the size of Omaha. While some numbers are promising, even impressive, others are concerning. The number of kids being arrested for serious crimes has gone up in the past three years. Six News asked Schmatter about Omaha kids and teens getting involved in criminal activity. The whole point of the juvenile justice system is rehabilitation. If they're reoffending as soon as they get out, that's a flaw in the system. So it's very important for us to, to get a handle on this in the city of Omaha. Now, what is the plan to do that? So we have a layered plan, obviously, within the Omaha Police Department. We, we, we try to specialize in what we do, know who those offenders are, provide them services, not just arrest, but intervention type of services as well. Schmatter's second goal is to address staffing shortages incrementally. The department is budgeted for 906 officers. Earlier this year, Six News reported the force was more than 100 officers short. We do feel that we're on borrow time. We're not going to get back to our staffing levels in 2024, but we're really hoping and shooting for late 2025 or early 2026. Schmatter hopes the new salaries, which the city council approved this year, will help next year's recruitment. Part of his hope is that it'll attract potential applicants in other major cities across the country. With staffing projected to be a long-term problem, his third and final goal is to maintain or even improve efficiency, planning to roll out a new safety measure to augment his staff. The Omaha Police Department is going to open a new real-time crime center uh, for the city of Omaha. We will open that in 2024. This real-time crime center, will it's, it's a series of cameras embedded throughout the city that we can monitor in real time. So if you get a 911 call, we can potentially tap into a, cam uh, a camera, watch it on real time unfold, and the synergy of that is very impressive. Schmatterer is one of the longest acting chiefs for the department. When asked about any retirement plans. The staff here is second to none, this community is second to none, and we are in another strategic plan within the Omaha Police Department, and I plan to see it through. And tune in tomorrow for 6 News Live at 10 to hear from the Douglas County Sheriff and Chief Deputy. I sit down with the law enforcement leaders of the state's largest county. On your side in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. Thanks, Bella.